rocket. What's not to be excited about? So with our partners NAMO, we're about to witness the test firing of their hybrid rocket motor in their test facility in Norway. For us at Bloodhound, it's immensely exciting because this is the motor that's going to take us to break the record, develop with ESA, the European Space Agency, a hybrid rocket motor that's going to power the future generation of spacecraft. And that's what's going to be powering the car from next year. So for us, it's a really important test. This is the, the NAMO hybrid rocket. It's a hybrid rocket because it's using a liquid oxidizer, in this case hydrogen peroxide and a solid fuel. The oxidizer passes through this pipe here, it's then going to pass into the catalyst pack here. The catalyst pack degrades it into both steam and oxygen at very high temperatures and pressure. Uh, the pressure coming through here is apparently enough to fill a bath in three seconds or so. It's then going to pass into the combustion chamber where it mixes with our fuel. It's then combusts, this will get extremely hot and then pass out through the nozzle off this way. Hybrid rockets are relatively new technology compared to other types of rocketry and it's the safety element that really appeals to us. This is going to provide half of the thrust that leads us to a thousand miles an hour effectively, so hit firing is a very big milestone for us. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Perfect. <laughs> from our perspective, it was really good because there were no real surprises. So the rocket burned very efficiently. You can see that from the really clean rocket E-flux. It's a huge step forward and massive confidence boost for us running in the car next year.